the Aura Light. It's a cheaper version of the famed Aura, and it's actually pretty awesome. Now, I really love the Aura. It's bright, it's colorful, and it's perfect as a bedside lamp. I love the effects that it can do, and I love that it has Wi-Fi. With all that said, I didn't really expect to like the Aura Light very much. But actually, I like them equally. Let me tell you why. First of all, I already made an unboxing video for this. A link will be posted in the description, and I'd recommend checking it out before watching this review. A lot of thought was put into the design of the Aura Light. It's playful, yet gentle. The plastic shade curves up into the top control pad, and the light dims subtly near the top. It's something that doesn't convey well on camera, but gives the light a depth that makes it interesting to look at instead of looking like some cheap kid's toy. Let's take a look at the features that you're getting at this price point. It's RGBWW, so you get a full rainbow, as well as bright, high-quality lights. There's a music mode that flashes to the beat of your jams, and there's a number of scene modes as well as a DIY option to make your own. Govi quotes the Aura Light at 350 lumens, which is the same as the Aura. I don't have any way of properly testing that, but it looks about right to my eye. The reds and blues are especially bright, with the greens following closely behind. As for the whites, it's great. Because it uses dedicated white LEDs, the quality of the white is excellent. It doesn't look like those cheap light bulbs that give off a purpley hue when set to white. Nice job, Govi. There are two options for the music mode. Dynamic, which is what you're seeing here, and Calm. I found that the dynamic mode was a little too aggressive with the flashing, so I left it at Calm for most things, but I found that it worked better on dynamic for my voice. Unlike the Aura, the microphone for the music mode is on the top of the device, which means that it'll probably be a bit more accurate, as it's less likely to be stuck behind a table with only muffled audio to work with. Here's a quick sample with the speaker at a reasonable volume, about 5 feet away. Let's look at the scene modes. This is where the Aura Light starts getting less impressive than the Aura. Because it can only do one color at a time, the scenes don't look as cool as the Aura. Take Flower Field, for example. On the left, you can see the Aura Light, and on the right, you can see the Aura. I'll let you make the judgments here. One way that Govi products differentiate themselves from some of the competition is the DIY mode. If there isn't a scene that you like, then you can just make your own. You have the option to select between gradient, breathe, and jumping, and you can set the speed and colors that it uses. If that isn't quite enough customization for you, then you can use the Govi Studio app to pretty much do anything else. I was able to make this cool lighting scene in just about five minutes. Now, we talked about using the Govi app to control it, but how else can you control it? If you have an ALEXA or Google Home device, then you can use that. You can also use IFTTT or Home Assistant to make fancy automations with it. For example, when me and everyone else in my home leaves the house, Home Assistant will automatically turn everything off. But my favorite method of control is also the simplest. There are five capacitive buttons on the top of the device. They're also backlit, which is pretty awesome. When you wake up in the morning, you don't want to fumble with an app to turn on the light or anything like that. You just want a simple way to turn on the light, and these buttons are perfect for that. It's also great if you want to allow other people in your family to use the device. They have all of the control that they need without you needing to share an account or teach them how to use a voice assistant. To wrap things up, let's compare this guy with the Aura. There are two major differences. RGBIC, and the design of the device. I mentioned this earlier, and used the flower field as an example. The Aura really is just that much better in terms of effects. It's really cool, and it's bound to get some questions at your next family gathering, whenever that happens again. But the Aura Light has something going for it too. 
And that's the design. Because they didn't need to worry about the lighting zones looking wonky, Govi opted for a more rounded design with the aura light, and it's an approach that I really like. It looks excellent, especially compared to the more boxy design of the aura. But which should you get? Well, that's a hard one. I'd first like to mention that Govi products go on sale pretty often, so make sure you check the current prices at the link below before making your decision. If you really like the effects that the aura provides, I would go for it. It's only 20 bucks more, and the effects are certainly worth the extra cost to some people. If you don't really need all the effects, and want to go with something that's a bit more budget friendly, then I would take the aura light. All in all, it's up to you. If you still aren't sure, then feel free to leave a comment with your situation and I'll help you find the one that fits your needs best. It could even be a device that's not Nora. So thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe and leave a comment letting you know what you think about this device. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.